be explained in the months to come. Before I forget, there is one last part to your joining. We take some of that blood and put it in a pendant. Something to remind us of those who didn't make it this far. Take some time. When you're ready, I'd like you to accompany me to a meeting with the king. Oh, very well. The meeting is to the west, down the stairs. Please attend as soon as you're able. And this time I believe I did get a level up. And you can see Minos has joined us. So let's see if it's a real level up this time. Certainly six attributes. Um, so far I haven't noticed that I am in great need of any sort of constitution. I, I can never remember it was constitution. Um, well, constitution wouldn't hurt. I might put some points into that. Uh, let's see. Can we tell how many? Eh, well, maybe. They may serve me better than uh, some of these others. What I was doing there is I was just adding points and seeing how much health it added. You can actually see it up on the, uh, the little window there. Each one adds, well, I don't know, it looks like about 3%. So considerable. Now which was the thing that added to... There we are, stamina. Um, yeah, let's get that to 15. And I think these are okay for now. Uh, one. I was going to put four in constitution, but I think every once in a while I'll just add one to it. And just let it creep up a little bit. I'm hoping my dexterity is going to uh, do me much better than constitution will. I might be wrong. Now, I would like to put another point into coercion, but I want to be able to put some points into my combat 2 level skill, so I have to put it there. Otherwise all these are unavailable to me. This I want. That I can't choose because it's level 8. And I think I might do all three of these. Dual weapon finesse, improved combat training. The character is extremely skilled at we wielding a weapon in, in in each hand, gaining bonuses to attack and defend. So clearly that's... we're going to choose that. Repost. Um, it's this. This is activated. Let me see. Sustained. Activated. The character strikes at a target once, dealing normal damage, as well as stunning the opponent unless it passes physical resistance check. The character then strikes with the other weapon, generating critical hit of the... Oh, I remember this. You've actually got to be paying fairly close attention if this is what I'm thinking it is. As you're fighting, this will occasionally light up, and if you click it, it will... You then get a, a basically a free attack. And this is... The character lashes out with flurry of three blows. Dealing normal. Yeah, okay, we'll throw that in there. These ones, I need expert training. I still am going to hold off on stealth and deft hands. Because I'm going to le let one of my other characters take care of this. Even though my cunning is going to be quite high. And below the belt, deadly strike. Ro Rogue makes a... Swift strike at vulnerable area, dealing normal damage but gaining owner, owner to <laughs> gaining bonus to armor penetration. Okay, so bypass armor is what that is basically. Lethality. The rogue has a key knife for weak spots and thus gains a bonus. This is passive. Um, critical chance for all attacks. Additionally, if the rogue's cunning score is greater than strength, sharpness of mind lets the character use the cunning modifier to affect the attack in place of the strength modifier. Oh, hang on then. So that means we could keep strength there. And start putting everything in cunning if I was willing to... Hmm, let's head towards that. Strength 18 is, is pretty good as it is, so... Yeah.
Okay, I like that idea. So we'll keep putting points into uh, dexterity. Have I put, yeah, I put some into cunning already. We have two points left. Let's get dexterity. 19. There. Yeah, I gain a decent amount of health. Yeah, okay, I kind of like this layout. I'll have to remember that, that I'm glad that I have the strength I, I have, but it looks like I can avoid much of it. Okay. Improve combat training. Whoops, let's try that again. Improve combat training. Yeah, so maybe it's worth putting a point in here. This definitely I want a point in. Flurry. Deadly strike rope needs vulnerable area. Hmm. Well, we're going to have more points to spend in the future. This was the thing I wanted more than anything else. This is definitely going to help us. And I think both of these can hold, these can wait. Repost is nice, but you have to pay a lot of attention to it. Flurry is nice also, but... I have these other skills I can use, so I want this. I want lethality. That sounds really good. Requires 23 dexterity. We'll have that, no problem. And evasion. Rogue gains almost uh, preternatural ability to sense and avoid danger. This talent gain one in five chance of evading physical attacks altogether. Uh, including being stunned or knocked down. Okay, yeah, so we definitely want that as well. So this was a good choice. I, I'm glad I'm following that. I almost discounted it. Okay, I think I've spent a lot uh, more time than I really wanted to rambling about that. But hey, as always, that's what YouTube's skip ahead is for. Loghain, my decision is final. I will stand by the Grey Wardens in this assault. You risk too much, Caelan. The Darkspawn Horde is too dangerous for you to be playing hero on the front lines. If that's the case, perhaps we should wait for the Orlesian forces to join us after all. I must repeat my protest to your fool notion that we need the Orlesians to defend ourselves. It is not a fool notion. Our arguments with the Orlesians are a thing of the past, and you will remember who is king. How fortunate Marek did not live to see his son ready to hand Ferelden over to those who enslaved us for a century. Then our current forces will have to suffice, won't they? Duncan, are your men ready for battle? They are, Your Majesty. And this is the lady from High Ever I met earlier? I understand congratulations are in order. Thank you, Your Majesty. Every Grey Warden is needed now. You should be honored to join their ranks. Your fascination with glory and legends will be your undoing, Kalen. We must attend to reality. Fine. Speak your strategy. The Grey Wardens and I draw the Darkspawn into charging our lights, and then? You will alert the tower to light the beacon, signaling my men to charge from to cover. To flank the Darkspawn, I remember. This is the Tower of Ishal in the ruins, yes? Well, who shall light this beacon? I have a few men stationed there. It's not a dangerous task, but it is vital. Then we should send our best. Send Alistair and the new Grey Warden to make sure it's done. Wait a minute, it's not dangerous? Uh, let's see. I suppose I could say I mean, uh, you mean I won't be fighting in the battle, but uh, now would be a good time to stay away from the battle, so... Yes, if it's not dangerous, I can do it myself. I'll do my best, Your Majesty. You rely on these Grey Wardens too much. Is that truly wise? Enough of your conspiracy theories, Loghain. Grey Wardens battle the Blight no matter where they're from. Your Majesty, you should consider the possibility of the Archdemon appearing. There have been no signs of any dragons in the wilds. Isn't that what your men are here for, Duncan? I... yes, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, the tower and its beacon are unnecessary. The we will of not Magi trust any lives to your spells, mage. Save them for the Darkspawn. Enough! This plan will suffice. The Grey Wardens will light the beacon. Thank you, Loghain. I cannot wait for that glorious moment. 
the Grey Wardens battle beside the King of Ferelden to stem the tide of evil. Yes, Kaelin. A glorious moment for us all. Yes, you don't look suspicious at all. All you need is a goatee. You heard the plan. You and Alistair will go to the Tower of Ishal and ensure the beacon is lit. What? I won't be in the battle. This is by the King's personal request, Alistair. If the beacon is not lit, Terran Loghain's men won't know when to charge. So he needs two Grey Wardens standing up there holding the torch, just in case, right? Good point. Where, where is this Tower of Ishal exactly? Um, yeah, I suppose I, I'll say this now. I, I agree with Alistair. We should be in the battle. That is not your choice. If King Kaelin wishes Grey Wardens to ensure the beacon is lit, then Grey Wardens will be there. We must do whatever it takes to destroy the Darkspawn, exciting or no. I get it, I get it. Just so you know, if the King ever asks me to put on a dress and dance the Remigold, I'm drawing the line. Darkspawn or no. Way to take a stand, Alistair. I think I'd like to see that. You have some odd ideas about the King. I don't know, that could be a great distraction. Yes, I think I'd like to see that. For you, maybe. But it has to be a pretty dress. Mm. The tower is on the other side of the gorge from the King's camp, the way we came when we arrived. You'll need to cross the gorge and head through the gate and up to the tower entrance. From the top, you'll overlook the entire valley. When do we light the beacon? We will signal you when the time is right. Alistair will know what to look for. Well, then why do you need a signal for the signal? Can we join the battle afterwards? Stay with the Terran's men and guard the tower. If you are needed, we will send word. All right, I know how to, I have to do And I must join the others. From here, you two are on your own. Remember, you are both Grey Wardens. I expect you to be worthy of that title. Duncan, may the Maker watch over you. May he watch over us all. Okay, and I think with that... Oh, I got Alistair's approval. Plus one. With that, I think I am going to say... Well, no, I won't say it yet. I think we'll level him up. Um, I'm tempted to let him auto-level, actually. In this game, they seem to do quite a good job of, of leveling themselves. So, yeah, um... The one that I probably won't auto-level is whoever I'm exploiting to do uh, traps and lockpicking. Because they probably will auto level away from those skills. Well, they might, because I have those skills, so let's see. Um, Alistair. Auto level. Okay, not sure what he gave himself, but. Oh, and of course, I've got all my extra skills here, so I've got. Um, Activated, 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 sustained, activated. So what are all these again? I've got dual weapon sweep, which is multi-target hit, basically. Dirty fighting, which is a stun, always good. Below the belt, uh, slows and reduces defense of target. So that's like, um, well, wound or bleed or something like that. Well, it's not really a dot, though. Uh, deadly strike. Rogues make swift, swift strike. Vulnerable area, dealing normal damage, but gaining a bonus to armor penetration. Okay, so there's bypass armor. Uh, when it comes to fighting really difficult fight, you're basically cycling through these, to be quite honest. Okay. So, this time, with that, I say I thank you for watching, I thank you for listening, and I encourage you to leave comments, suggestions, or infantile abuse. I promise I read it all. And if you like my videos, don't forget to give me the thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. And we'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.